pass on two three. Tay and Alicia Davidson. Tay is the granddaughter of Dennis Pollock. Omar Rios Gonzalez. Omar is the son of David Rios and Carmen Gonzalez. Araya Shantay and Hanson. Araya is the daughter of Pauline and Curtis Hanson. Jerry Johnson. Jerry is the son of Carlin and Heather Johnson. Thank you, Laura Johnson. Thank you, the son of Mary and Joseph Johnson. Sierra Bryson Leach. Sierra is the daughter of Timmy and Michelle Leach. Joseph Shan Thompson. Shan is the son of George and Teresa Thompson. Senior night here at Bryce Valley High School as they recognize those who will be moving on and their parents. As, as tradition, uh, our last home game, we like to honor our seniors, and this year we happen to have one really small senior. Come on up here, Ashley. And only one senior on the Mustangs team this year, Ashley Shanoff, number 12. Uh, been a great example, and uh, we appreciate the last four years with her. She shared a lot of success. She's been a good example. And uh, on behalf of the girls' basketball team, I want to present her with the ball that has a picture of her and then the years that she played. And it's got a uh, Kehlani thinks she has really big muscles for little girls.
senior cheerleaders presenting their right, coaches and the wrestlers everybody's going to take care of it tonight Rod last home game for the girl lady Mustangs Jerem Johnson, Sharon Thompson, senior wrestlers for the Mustangs. Honoring their coaches. He looks like he dropped his gift basket all over the floor. Well, that Nick Pollock down there. And the senior wrestlers recognizing the cheerleaders also.
So minute 22 seconds till game time. The starting lineups. Little time given to the home team. It's their homecoming week. And the Bobcats coming into this game undefeated on the season, number one in the state. The Bryce Alley Mustangs are going to try to knock them off. And under a minute, we'll get set here with the flag ceremony and the starting lineups. Starting for the Bobcats, number 10, Dari Franson. Number 40, Catania Holman. Number 42, Chesney Campbell. Number 42, Chesney number Campbell. 44, number 44, and Taylor, Taylor Bennett. Bennett. And number 292, Whitney Orton. Uh, 
Guarding number three, Danielle Drinkerhoff. And the senior for the Mustang, number 12, Ashley Shinoff. And a sophomore, number 21, Samantha Shinoff. And a junior, number 34, Jaylene Vasquez. And the tip goes to the Bobcats. And Orton to Bennett. Bennett, she'll hit that three. No, bounces off the rim. Franson kicks it back into Bennett. And Campbell almost comes up with the rebound, but Brinkerhoff takes it for the Mustangs. Brinkerhoff. Vasquez for three. Gets her own rebound, gets underneath the Shinoff. Off, can't get it to go. And they get it quick out to uh, Holman, to Orton. 15 foot jumper, no rebound. Franson, little dribble up with the left hand, good. So Franson on the board for the Bobcats first with a two points. Yeah, Mike, that was pretty fun. Yeah, that's a good deal right there, Dave. Those starting lineups, lights. Bennett has the ball knocked away and then uh, saved in by Franson. Orton. Left side, Holman. Campbell down to France and up and in for two. Yeah, that was a good job. Just kind of hitting her there at the mid high post. Yeah, and, just uh, France and just cuts cuts to the backside. Bring her off crossover goes left down the paint scoops draws the foul as she tries to split Bennett and France. Sure, who that 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 was gonna go against? I was gonna go against France could have went either way. Brinkerhoff at the line. Off the back iron. Brinkerhoff short and off the front of the iron. Rebound out of bounds. Tipped off the Bobcats. Vasquez into Brinkerhoff. Brinkerhoff drives right, steps around, just off the left side. Rebound France and out to Orton. Orton goes up. Little contact and uh, gets the ball back to the trailer as France and cuts down through the paint and draws the foul going to the basket. And Franson gets the first. Who made this first basket for the Bobcats, Dave? I think it was uh, Franson. I think she's got all six of the points right now. Okay. Brinkerhoff drives left. Vasquez in the corner. Back to Brinkerhoff. Coach Brinkerhoff wanting the contact and uh, Shanoth 
Gets it up, draws the foul, just rims out. Ashley Shinoff, the line shooting two. Makes the first. Gets the first one to go. Second one as well. Gets the Mustangs on the board. Orton, Holman, back to Orton, looks at the three, takes it. Rims off the back iron. Rebound Bennett. Holman drives left-handed, scoots it up with the right, and puts it in. That was a great move by Holman, all alone on the baseline. Vasquez pass tipped away. Vasquez will inbound. Brinkerhoff. Jaylene Vasquez. Brinker off, crossover left, defended by um, Campbell Vasquez. Emily Courtright, Shanoth, hard dribble up to Campbell. Horton takes it down, lays it in with her left hand. Well, you know, when they get that rebound, they send uh, Holman or Orton up the opposite side. They just beat you up the floor. Franson takes the pass away from Vasquez as she held it high. Bennett for three, no good off of Campbell out of bounds. That looked like one there, Dave, if uh, I think it was who's on that side for the Mustangs. If they get position, she's going to come over the back for that ball. Yeah. I think that was either. I think it was Court, Sh Shanoth or Court, right? Yeah. I'm not. Yep. Brinkerhoff. Garcia, baseline Court, right? Up over the head of Shanoth, out of bounds. 10-2, 3.54 to go, first period. Orton, crossover, oh, nice cut by Bennett. Yeah, well, that was textbook, Mike. Yeah, Orton drives in, Bennett cuts through. And then Bennett finishes well, so. Samantha Shanoff. Defended by Whitney Orton, draws the foul on Orton. Vasquez checks back in for Garcia. Pass cross to Samantha Shinoff. Ashley Shinoff. Brinkerhoff drives down, up and in. Orton for three, got it. Ashley Schnoth, the court right, back out to Jaylene Vasquez for three, short, out of bounds. Coach Brinkhoff saying it was tipped. Yes, 
Coleman to Bennett. Off, rolls off the front, rebound Samantha Shanoff. Had that double low screen on that right hand side. Bennett cuts through, it's wide open for the layup, just unable to finish. Vasquez, defended by Campbell. 15-4, Bobcats by 11. Ashley Schnauz pass taken away by Campbell. Gives to Holman, Holman finishes. And 17-4, two minutes to go. In the first quarter. So Mike, let's look at this dribble drive by uh, Danielle Brinkerhoff. She's able, to, she's been able to drive in and get a few good looks, Mike. That time she goes up with it, gets it to go. Takes it up over Bennett. Um, and who does a good job just standing straight up, not swatting and committing the foul. Then here's on that questionable um, three point shot where some of the fans were saying there was a touch on it. Looks pretty clean to me, Mike. No touch on the ball, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah that, just short. Just short. That's a, that's a great job by our replay technician. Well, you know. <laughs> you know, Mike, one more replay. The, the Bobcats just moved the ball so well. Here, there's a little shovel pass inside to Bennett. Just Great ball movement. Absolutely. So 17-4, two minutes to go, first period. Brinkerhoff gets screened from Vasquez, gives to Vasquez, double teamed into Russo. Russo just turns and throws it back, picked off by Orton. Orton kicks to Holman, 18-footer from the corner, off the front, rebound tipped, tipped again, picked up by Holman. Orton. Skip past Bennett for three. Rims out, rebound France, and she puts it up and in and draws the foul. Franson gets the free throw to go. Franson already with one shy of what her, she had and against Bryce Valley and Penguins. She had 10 points against the Mustangs over there. Already with nine so far tonight, Dave. Brinker off, crossover, fakes. Samantha Shanoff. Nowhere to, to turn. Up. Close to three seconds there. Brinkerhoff had that shot. Shanoff in, rebound loose, tied up. Alternating possession to the Mustangs. Brinkerhoff in to Shanoff. Ashley Shanoff, three point shot on the way, short, off the back. Rebound Chesney Campbell, out to Orton. Bennett for three. Rebound Campbell for two. Bennett, Bennett just, you know, she didn't miss over in Penguich when the Mustangs played over there, but she's struggling a little here tonight, but she's got to keep shooting through that. Yeah, Bennett she's a, a great shooter. Taken away by Holman. And Ashley Schnauf gets the intentional foul.
So Mike, let's uh, look at this. Looked like she pushed her a little with that left hand, maybe a hit her side. And they're gonna stick with it. Holman gets both of them. And the foul, did they, was it on the, they call that foul on the ground? Yeah. Okay. But being the intentional, they automatically get two shots and the ball, ball back. back. At the spot of the foul? Correct. Holman sneaks oh, nice behind the defender. off court right out of bounds there we go get a little trim out yeah, of there yeah we can have a lot we usually do that for the starting lineups you can hear the music and the fans nice pass blocked shot up by France and blocked so after one quarter of play, 26-4, Mustangs trail by 22, Dave. For the Mustangs, Danielle Breaker off with two and Ashley Shanoff with two, both from the foul line. Dari Franson with nine, Catania Holman with six, Chesney Campbell with two, Taylor Bennett with four, and Whitney Orton with five. Mike, a few plays from that opening quarter. We'll go ahead and take a look here. We've got kind of a little give and go to Bennett. Then we've got a nice little dribble drive by Danielle Brinkerhoff. And then this last one, Franson just dominating inside, gets a two and one call here off the rebound and the shot. And how many does Franson have so far in the game, Mike? She's got nine so far. She has nine. Um, she is just a, a great low post, you know, your traditional low post player. And she does a great job. Orton up top, Holman. Brianna Birch in the game for the Bobcats. Orton lob inside to France and France and dribbles off her foot. Birch has it knocked away. So yeah, a little good defensive stop there for the Mustangs on that possession. Holman, Orton, France and High. Inside to Campbell, kick to Holman on the baseline, back to Campbell. Campbell turning around, jumper in the paint. Brinkerhoff drives left. Hard screen from Vasquez, shot up, three-point shot off the mark, rebound tipped, picked up by Campbell, Campbell to Orton, rebound off the mark, put back up by Franson. So Franson going over, there's not contact probably on the rebound, but going over the back on some of those, if that defender will just back in and force the contact, they're gonna get the call. Yeah, the, the defender's gotta establish their position, I think, is and uh, The foul goes to Chesney Campbell, her first. Courtright, Brinkerhoff, over the top, blocked by Campbell. Campbell to Birch, up and in. Bobcats just pushing up the floor quick. Yes, they run that, you know, they run that outlet pass so well, Dave. They get a couple of offensive players out ahead of the game and 
and just take it down. Chenoth around Franson. And then Franson with the rebound. Franson did a good job that time just holding her ground, staying in position. Birch, Holman, Franson. Franson fakes. A little bit of contact that time from Samantha Chenoth. Yeah, no, no whistle on that. 5.56 to go, second period. Campbell drives around up. Rebound, France, and puts it in. Two and one opportunity. And that's going to be Ashley Shinoff's second foul. She makes it. 12 points so far in the first half. Two minutes into the fourth or second quarter. Brinkerhoff fakes. Nice job. Brinkerhoff gets Franson in the air. Steps around with the left foot and lays it up with her right hand behind Franson. Orton. Holman. Ball loose. Jump. And they're going to call Ashley Shinoff. on the reach. Boy, that was a great move by Brinkroff. We'll have that as a highlight coming up here at the halftime. Yeah, that was a good, it was a good move. Or during a timeout, Mike. There you go. You know, Brinkroff's been able to drive and penetrate and get, you know, get a couple of buckets off the dribble penetration. That was Campbell going with her right hand, wasn't it? All right. Let's see here. There we go. This is it. A little up and under with the left hand. That's a pretty nice move. Yeah, got uh, she got Franson in the air and then stepped around and laid it up. It's kind of fun, Dave. Yeah, we hope you're enjoying it out there, viewers. Mustang just not finding an answer for the, the quickness and the, the size and quickness of the Bobcats tonight, are they? Holman, Franson, Bennett, 18 footer, Brinker off with the rebound for the Mustangs. So Emily Garcia in the game for Ashley Chenoff, pass to Vasquez taken away by Campbell and saved in. That was an athletic move by Campbell, Mike. Absolutely. To save that in, just kind of curled it with one hand. Garcia takes that rebound away from Campbell. Brinkerhoff again goes around the defender and draws the contact and the foul. Brinkerhoff, usually a great free throw shooter, off the mark on those. Orton skip pass to Holman, left side. Franson, left, and the foul's gonna go on Garcia. Got to be on Garcia. Yeah, she a lot of contact. A lot of there. contact. Grab both arms. Shot up, rims out. That's her first miss from the line. She was five of five till right there, Dave. Yeah, France on a great free throw shooter. And 
Bryant gets the second one to go. Brinkerhoff, court right in the corner. Dribbles back up top, looks for help. Brinkerhoff, short corner, dribbles out the corner. Vasquez, that went with a little bit of a hop there. Ball loose, tied up. Mustang basketball. Three Mustangs in that tie up right there, Mike. And one Bobcat. Brinkerhoff over the top to Shanoth. Garcia. That's a that's a that's a big trap there in that corner, Dave. You get Campbell and the Franson. Yeah, you're not gonna pass that up over the top either in their reach. They got a wide reach too. Campbell. Oh, nice cut by Franson. And Campbell Sar lays it up and in. Vasquez, Brinkerhoff, right side. Looks into Shanoff. Oh, backside, Garcia's open. Shanoff. Got away with one. It's a nice move. Franson up and in. Vasquez, Orton, a little bit of contact on the arm. 2.22 to go, first half, 38-8. And that's a 16 foul for the Bobcats. The Mustangs with 16 fouls too, Mike. So as Orton goes to the bench with her second foul, that brings uh, Bennett back into the ball game. Russo, court right. Brinker off left side. Court right, Vasquez just toe on the line. Franson with a high rebound outlet to Holman. She has Campbell back door, backside, bounce pass across. Good job by Holman drawing the defense and kicking that ball. That's a catch 22 as a defensive player when, they're, when the team will work the ball like that, Dave. Almost five second call. One thirteen to go, first half. Russo to Brinkerhoff, defended by Birch. Gets around Birch, shot up and fouled. So Brinkerhoff will go to the line, shooting two. Banks open, Dave. It's the first one. Off the back iron, Holman with the rebound. Cross court to Bennett. Bennett slows it down. Campbell from the foul line. Russo rebound left side. Russo will bring it up. Vasquez drives left, 
Goes around, up and in. I just saw um, Coach uh, Williams telling her, look, when she comes out on you like that, you've got to go to the basket, and basket, Vasquez did and finished. So good adjustment. Bennett up and in. Nine seconds, Brinkerhoff splits the defenders, blocked by Franson, out of bounds. Mustang basketball underneath, 42-11. 5.2 seconds to go, first half. Court right, Russo, Holman, or uh, Franson with the rebound. So that'll do it after the first half, 42 to 11. The Bobcats with the lead. And we'll leave it here. The Bryce Valley cheerleaders win the state competition, won first place in their classification last week. So they'll be performing for us here at halftime. So real quick, Dave, I've got Dari Franson with 17, Catania Holman with eight, Chesney Campbell with six, Taylor Bennett with four, Whitney Orton with five, and Brianna Birch with two for the Mustangs. Danielle Brinkerhoff with five, Ashley Shanoth with two, Samantha Shanoth with two, and Jaylene Vasquez with two. Yeah, Franson, the last meeting of these two teams, a little quiet, what'd you say, nine? I think she had nine, nine points. It might have been 11, but I'm pretty sure it was, no, it was 10. She had 10. But just really unstoppable tonight. Yeah, that, she's on her game tonight. You can see when she plays like this, that's why she's one of the best, if not the best, center in the state. Yeah, plays that four or five position very well. And uh, just really tough. Doesn't get riled up. No, Mostly just mellow, yeah, even keeled.
Mike, here we go. Yeah, good job, the Bryce Valley Mustang cheerleaders. That Bobcat team, Dave, they look better than they were last time we played them even. Oh yeah, you know, and you, you want to see your team peaking at this time of year right before the region tournament next week. And we want to remind you folks too, if you're watching, and if you have a 1A basketball team that will be participating in the region tournament or the state tournament, uh, we're looking for sponsors. We have some local people going around and, you know, trying to set those up for us. But you can, you can set one up directly with us at uhsslive at gmail.com. And uh, we, you can sponsor your team to help keep these broadcasts free. Absolutely. So, Mike. Yeah. A couple of plays here you know, in the game. Uh, we've got... Here's one we'd seen earlier. Brinkerhoff with the dribble drive penetration. Able Takes to get it down it over the top of Bennett. Then we've got another one with Shanoff with an up and under. Able to get it in. And Vasquez also had a good Dribble drive penetration. She's got a little hop skip on that one, but. <laughs> yeah. I like that second camera angle, Dave. That works out good. Now, so the Mustangs have a little bit of success with the dribble drive. The, the Bobcats extend their defense out, which allows them to, to drive and penetrate. Um, but the Bobcats, on the other hand, you know, showing what they can do. Great ball movement. They, they see the floor well. They pass the ball well. Here's one with a little backdoor cut. Branson just sneaking in behind the defense for the easy layup. Yeah, and that was a beautiful look that time from uh, Chesney Campbell. And uh, and uh, Campbell here posting up hard, getting that pass inside. Just a little dribble bounce up just kiss off cost and, and defender in her face I mean she's able to hit that bucket it's a nice strong take by by Campbell and uh, this is one we saw a few other times a little give and go by uh, see if we can get it over here there we go little pass inside off that weak side curl that's about as textbook right there as you can get on that uh, that weak side. And you can see the defense spread wide. Here's one more of those dribble drives by Danielle Brinkerhoff. Now this one she steps and fakes, then goes up and under. I noticed that over there in Penguich, Dave, and it doesn't look like the Bobcats are spreading that defense quite as far out as they did over there in Panguitch. Um, you know, they brought that two guard front way up top in Panguitch and they are staying a little further back. Yeah. Those are our first half highlights. Those highlights brought to you by Ruby's Inn, one of our great sponsors, helping bring these games to you. Corporate sponsor throughout the tournament. Yeah, Ruby's in always a good sponsor, Mike.
All right, as we get set for the second half of action, coming to you from Bryce Valley Homecoming Week. Penguins Bobcats, Bryce Valley Lady Mustangs. Nice pass into Campbell off the mark, off Bennett out of bounds. Give and go to Vasquez in the corner, not there for Ashley Shinoff. Ashley, right side, looks at the three, goes around Bennett. Kicks it back out, Daniel Brinker off fakes three, Vasquez. Blocked by Campbell, picked up by Orton. Orton called for the carry. Almost got away with that. Yeah. <laughs> if she, she, she reacted to it, or she might have, you know. You, sometimes you gotta play that. Like, oh, nothing happened. Samantha Chenaw turns. Court right, Brinkerhoff in the corner. Ashley Chenaw, 15 footer off the front of the iron. Rebound blues, picked up by Holman and Bumped. Samantha Shanoth going for the ball. Knocks home into the ground. Bennett into Campbell. Tipped away. She's able to step out and grab it. Holman, 4-3. Off the front of the iron, rebound France and put back up and fouled. There again is one of those that kind of looks like it's over the back. I'm gonna get a look at this, Mike. Just a little bit further. She made one of those. Brinkerhoff. Vasquez drives down fakes, blocked by Franson, out of bounds. Franson bends down, helps her up. So here's that play, and I'm not sure if she just not squared up on it. Yeah, if they nobody cut. really had position, I guess. I yeah. Inbounds to Shanoth. Shanoth, oh, kicks. To where oh. she thought Vasquez was. Yeah, nobody there. Vasquez had moved up and it's Orton, Campbell, Holman back to Ben or to Campbell. Orton. Bennett, three point shot on the way, got it. So Bennett. Gets one to go after a quiet first half. Brinkerhoff, the ball knocked away. A little bit of a reach there by Orton. 
And they're gonna get Ransom with the foul. Is that her third? It is. Bring her off. Inbounds taken away, picked up by Orton. Orton stops, shoots, scores. Tipped away. Russo in for Vasquez for the Mustangs, as well as Brittany Shakespeare in the ball game for the Lady Mustangs. Shakespeare, three point shot up, no good. Re follows her shot well though, and puts it back in. Holman follows her shot, and gets rebound, dribbles. Bennett picks it up off the other side. Is that an assist, Dave? Not a good man. Shanoff. And uh, there's going to be a foul on Orton. Be her third. Brittany Shakespeare, three-point shot. Campbell with the rebound. Passes it ahead to Orton. Orton over the top to Franson. Franson back out to Orton. Bennett. Franson left side. Holman looks into Campbell, gives to Franson, low post. Franson turns, looks. Nice move by Franson. Shanoff, give and go from Brinkerhoff. Blocked. And they're gonna get Brinkerhoff with the foul. Campbell underneath, out of ha Holman's hands, out of bounds. Yeah, Holman just on that backdoor cut, kind of coming from the weak side. They do a good job slipping in behind the defense. Ashley Schnoff picks up her dribble. Russo taken away by Holman, and she steps on the line. Or that's a Clean Russo steal. just kind of dribbled it away like there wasn't anybody there, but Holman was right behind her the whole time. And Holman doesn't stop, Dave. She just keeps going and going and going. Shanoth drives down, shoots it up in the paint. Rebound Campbell. Orton. 18-footer for Orton. Good. 54-13, Bobcats with the lead here. Three minutes to go in the third. Vasquez, Samantha Shanoff turns. Taken away by Campbell. Campbell one-on-one -on -one with Courtright and fouled. So Garcia and Russo back in the game for the Mustangs. The two Shanoff sisters get a rest as Campbell makes them both. 
Vasquez, three-point shot up, got it. Bennett for three, she matches. And Bennett's found her range. You can't let her sit out there and shoot. Eight points so far in the second half for Bennett. 221 to go in the sec third quarter. Vasquez for three, follows her shot, ties up Campbell for the rebound. Alternating possession for the Mustangs. That brings in Shante Miller for the Bobcats as Campbell goes to the bench along with Orton. And also number 24, Maisie Miller checks in for the Bobcats. All right, just not watching, looking for the ball that time. Out of bounds off Danielle Brinkerhoff. Birch, Miller, Franson, goes left. Fouled by Russo. So Ashley and Samantha Shanoff and Brittany Shakespeare check in the ball game. Franson makes both. How many does Franson have so far, Mike? I have her for unofficially 22, Dave. Samantha Shanoff, Ashley Shanoff, got it. Miller gets called for the travel. So Franson checks out and Campbell comes back in. Shakespeare, Garcia. Shanoff, Russo, Samantha Shanoff follows her shot, gets the long rebound. Good hustle by Shanoff, chase down that long rebound. Yeah, not giving up on the play. Fakes goes in, 10 footer off the back iron again. Garcia with the rebound. Mustangs working the boards, 39 seconds to go, third quarter. Shanoff from the foul line. Campbell with the rebound, picked up by Samantha Shanoff again. That time she got it. Mustangs with five opportunities that time. Able to convert. Birch fouled by Garcia. Inbounds to Campbell. Three point shot up. Off the back. So at the end of three, 61 20. Bobcats lead by 41. And a couple highlights for the Mustangs, Mike. 
Vasquez with the three-point shot. With a hand in her face. Got her feet set, squared up, drained it. And another one. Off that last inbound save from Campbell for the Bobcats. Samantha Sinoff just in the right place at the right time. Good job by Shanoth on that play, not giving up on the play, just sticking around, hanging tough. So Coach Barney brings his starters back on the floor for the fourth quarter, as well as Coach Brinkerhoff, Orton. Franson, 18-footer short, rebound Vasquez. Vasquez, rebound Holman. That's seventh team foul, that's one and one. Holman makes your first. Front end of the one and one. And second. Brinker off. Samantha, high arching shot from the short corner, drains it. Orton crossover, oh nice pass underneath to Franson. Franson's just been unstoppable tonight, Mike. And she makes a foul shot. Gives her 25 unofficially for the night. Taken away by Campbell. Brinkeroff did a good job that time, Dave. Not causing too much contact, just being in the way. Campbell yep. misses. Yeah, able to force the miss. 66-22. And be a foul on the baseline. So, Mike, that last little transition play for the Mustangs. Well, we'll get back to that. Inbounds, Shanoff taken away. She gets it back, scoops it up with her right hand. Franson with the rebound. Orton. Orton stops and elevates over Vasquez. That's a hard shot to make, too, Mike, off a fast, you know, yeah. fast dribble like that to stop and go straight up. You know, and Vasquez had position. That's probably going to be, that's a, Reach in on Orton. So anyway, let's go back to this little uh, replay really quick, Mike. Just a nice dribble drive penetration and that kick to Samantha Shanoff for the bucket. That was a pretty shot. Nice assist from Danielle Brinkerhoff. It's gonna bring the rain down with that arch. Yeah, that opens that basket up though. Vasquez back to Shanoff. Russo from the foul line, got it. Bennett into Franson. Franson, Holman looks at the three, takes it, gets it. No answer for the must. <laughs> All five tonight. starters for the Bobcats are in double figure. Oh, Chesney Campbell has eight. 
Orton back to Bennett. Holman, short corner, no good, rebound. Over the back on Campbell. Brinkerhoff has a pass taken away. Orton defended by Russo. And Orton will go to the line, shoot two. Yeah, the Mustangs just seem a little gas, Mike. They're trying to hit those passes over the top instead of faking high, going low or low high. Make those passes and Bobcats just stand straight up and get their hands on them. Birch. Brianna Birch checks in for the Bobcats. Franson will have a seat. 5.24 to go in the ball game, 72-24. Orton, the miss. Breaker off has a pass tipped away by Holman. Matt Schnott takes it away. Ball loose. Russo stood up with it. Yeah, that probably should have been a travel, but no call. Brinkerhoff crosses over, gives to Samantha. 12 footer off the mark. Rebound Brinkerhoff. Holman over the top to Campbell. Orton from the corner. Short. Rebound Bennett. She misses, but she'll go to the line and shoot two. Rims out. She gets the second one. Shanoth drives down, blocked by Campbell. Bobcats four on one, bounce pass to Holman, scoops it and scores. Yeah, three on one, the defense slides to one side. And good job. Hitting. Textbook fast break by yeah. the Bobcats. Pass taken away. Orton loses the handle, saves it in, picked up by Holman. The inadvertent contact going to go against Danielle Brinkerhoff. What was that? Somebody's phone? Maybe. Take a bench. Orton had a great game. Yeah, she did. And Holman gets the second one. Ball taken away, fouled by Holman. Brianna Bremner in for the Bobcats. Sixth team foul, I guess. Thought they were going to the free throw line. Samantha Schnoth into Danielle Brinkerhoff. 77-24, 3.50 to go in the ball game. Russo, Shakespeare up top. Three off the mark, rebound Russo. Garcia. Back to Brinker off. Oh, nice fake by Schnoth. Lays that up with their left hand and in. Defense! 
That's the Mustang secret defense right there, Dave. What's stop, that? Stop the fast break, have a toddler run out on the floor. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. <laughs> run, go, go now, go. <laughs> Oh, nice job by Holman going all the way the whole block by Garcia. Holman. Birch out, out of the reach of Bremner out of bounds. Ashley Schnoth set the check in for the Mustangs. Three minutes to go in the ball game. Garcia drives left. Brinker off in the corner, gives back to Schnoth. Schnoth fakes up and under. Campbell, 18-footer from the corner, off the mark, rebound Shanoff. 2.30 to go in the game, 28-77. Tipped away by Bremner. Can't believe region tournament's already here, Mike. Wow. Next week. A week from tomorrow. And the team with the winning record, was it? Yeah. It'll be in their home. And then the last two games actually being Kanab. Yeah, that'll be a, a good place for the tournament. I like Kanab's gym and be kind of different than the. Yeah, and over in Cedar, the boys region tournament though, it'll be at Canyon, Canyon View. View High School in Cedar City. Brinkerhoff gets that one to go. That's Brinkerhoff's first point in the second half, Dave. Getting a boom. Rebound Campbell. Birch drives down through, kicks Holman's baseline. Rebound Campbell, and she's fouled. That'll give Campbell an opportunity for to get into double figures. <laughs> Campbell misses her second, rebound Brinkerhoff. Some man, Ashley Shanoff fakes right, goes left. Maisie Miller in the game for the Bobcats. Holman, Campbell. Campbell a little slow getting up on that one, Mike. Yeah, she hit the hard floor hard. Foul went Emily Garcia, her fourth. This is the second. Ashley Shanoff from the corner. Bremner taken away by Shanoff. Shanoff up and under. Gets her own rebound, puts it up. 
Off the mark again, rebound Garcia. 103 to go in the ball game. Foul's gonna go against Brianna Birch. Oh, nice give and go from the high post from Campbell to uh, Holman. Forty one seconds to go. Shanoth drives down the lane, scoops it up. Birch. Short. Rebound Holman. Pass tipped away by Campbell. Out of bounds. Mustang basketball. Oh, 10 seconds to go. 81 35. Shakespeare for three. Oh. Bremner. Foul on Bremner. I mean, inadvertent, but she just went right into the knee. Her yeah, thigh right into the, the knee. Thigh. Can't tell if it was Brinkerhoff or Shakespeare right there. They got Brinkerhoff with the foul. Makes the second. Brinkerhoff, four seconds to go. Shakespeare off the glass oh. for three at the buzzer. So. Let's go through some of the scoring, Mike, and then all, we'll look at some of the highlights. All righty. So for Danielle Brinkerhoff, I have her with five points. Um, one of six from the foul line. Emily Garcia, zero for one, zero for one from the foul line. Ashley Shanoth with eight, two of two from the foul line. Samantha Shanoth with 12. And Brittany Shakespeare with five. Jaylene Vasquez with five for the Mustangs. And I actually think I gave Samantha two of Ashley's baskets. But for the Bobcats, I have Dari Franson with 25. Catania Holman with two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. Chesney Campbell with 10. Taylor Bennett with six, eight, 10, 12, 13. Whitney Orton with two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. And then Brianna Birch with two and Brianna Bremner with one. So, so Gary Bennett, you better say hi. Yeah. <laughs> so, so pretty balanced scoring for <laughs> Uh, the main five from absolutely 12 to 10 12 13 17 25 that's going to be pretty tough to stop for anybody dave if they'll continue to score like that so hey mike let's look at a couple of these replays ashley sanath the senior her last home game other than maybe the region tournament game right will we have the region tournament game here at home i think we will based on our record it's pretty tight between a couple of teams but i think we've got a tiebreaker so a lot of it's going to depend on the Wayne County game this next week. A couple week. of shots from Ashley, a little baseline penetration move. Here's another one, one of her three-pointers. 
Oh, that was a two-pointer, sorry. A little short corner. And for one of the more ex most exciting shots of the game. Brittany Shakespeare at the buzzer. Boom, at the buzzer. You got it. <laughs> so uh, it's going to do it here. Uh, the Bobcats, man, they're tough, Mike. That's, that's all I can say. It's one of the best. That's probably the best um, ladies basketball team I've seen in 1A in a long time. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know that I've seen a team better. They're just they're just stacked all the way around, Dave. And they've got two or three players that can come off the bench and absolutely give them a lot of quality minutes. So that's yeah, a good team. They can. So uh, that'll do it here tonight. David Tebbs. Mike Alstrom. And we'll catch you at our next game. We appreciate Rod Sired on the camera. And RK Sired Video Services. <laughs>